Elon Musk, he has said he wants to put a million people on Mars by 2050 to have a self-sustaining civilization that will survive there even if you know the rockets from Earth stop coming because there's been an asteroid strike or nuclear war or something here. Mm -hmm. That's definitely not happening. There are a lot of reasons why that's not happening. Getting anyone to Mars by 2050 and bringing them back alive or just having them live there for a while, that would be incredibly difficult. Just learning how to keep someone alive in deep space that far away from Earth for as long as it takes to get to Mars, stay on Mars, come back. We do not know how to do that yet. Is it radiation or? Yeah, there's radiation. And that's not just when you're in space, that's also when you're on Mars, right? You know, the two things that primarily protect us from radiation here on Earth are our, you know, the Earth's magnetic field and the thick atmosphere that Earth has. Mars doesn't have either of those things. Right. So when you're on the surface of Mars, you're getting pretty much the same radiation dose that you do like out in space. And that's not good. Right. You know, like the thing that I tell people is the movie The Martian is science fiction. One of the things that's science fiction about it is if Mark Watney really, you know, had to do all the stuff that he did in that movie, he'd come home and he'd be dead of cancer in a couple of years because he had too much radiation exposure hanging out on Mars. Mm. 